The dance class from August Bournonville's ballet, the Conservatory, is a declaration of love for the ballet classrooms of Paris. It was there Bournonville received his training in the 1820s. Bournonville's name is French, but he is Danish, and his altogether original choreographic style and the ballets he created for the Royal Danish Ballet are a central chapter in the history of the dance. the conservatory, Bournonville expresses at the same time both his educational and his artistic ideals, the harmonically expressive, the technically controlled. Fleming Reberg instructs the children. All the company's adult dancers have, at one time, appeared on stage as children in the conservatory. Most of them began studying ballet at seven or eight years of age, when they are old enough for ordinary schooling. I know there isn't much room here, but try to stretch your legs anyway, even if it's on the spot. Let's try it once more. Down, down. So, are you ready? Right. And... Bournemville's nearly 50 years of activity with the Royal Ballet has formed the basis for the company's distinctive character and world renown. He studied in Paris during the years which led up to the romantic flowering in the dance, but his style is entirely personal, and the ballets he created are as Danish as the stories of Hans Christian Andersen. Now Jorgen will play it a little slower, but do try to fill out the music, and try to remember you must come round on the count of seven. You make your turn on seven. Now do come up and stretch your legs. If you hold your body still, it's much easier to do the steps. That's it. Come up. Come up. Katra, katra, one, two, three. And one more time. That's better. Once more, David. Hmm. Hmm. Now turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One of Bournemville's successors as ballet master, Hans Beck, established the special Bournemville system of training. He composed classes with particular disciplines for each day of the week. The Wednesday class is one which the outstanding character dancer, Fred Bjorn Bjornsson, makes frequent use of when instructing young dancers. One, two, one, pas de Yeah. 
Now we'll go on with what we call the dark steps. Please, Victor. E, two, 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 A characteristic of the Bourneville training is that it develops unusually good and strong male dancers. Det er for bevægelsens skyld. Me and det er for... Henning Kronstam was one of the foremost dancers of his generation. Today, he's head of the company he grew up in. In his teaching, Henning Kronstam combines his experiences from Burnhamville training with his other experiences as a classically trained dancer. Again, that's try doing it with your best leg, if you please. It's the other one you've been standing on. The moment you go to passe and back, this thigh goes out and stays there and stretch out. I don't care about the elevation. That will come later. Yes, more. Yes. We go. A la seconde. Two. Three. Four. Passe. Plie. Tap hold. We hold. Three. Four. Again. One. Two. Three. Four. Passe. Plie. Hold. Slip. Ned. By any side. It is in the daily practice that the company obtains its inspiration for performing a large and versatile repertoire of more recent choreographers apart from Burnhamville. Three, four, passe plie. Careful, stretch up your knee, stretch up your knee. And 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 see the... And one. No leg forward. Heel forward. And four. Passe plie. Two. Ah, three. Ah, four. Careful of the extended leg you're standing on. Extend it. Passe plie. And clench your knee up with your muscles. With the muscles. Good. The challenge to a dancer can never be great enough. It's a life of constant labor to hold on to what you've already achieved and to achieve even more. It's in the classroom that you prepare yourself as an instrument for the stage. It's here that the choreographer or director finds his material. Attitude and go straight down and then we turn here let's just try it with the music so we all know what we're doing eric brun achieved world fame as a dancer he belongs to the last generation to grow up exclusively with the burnhamville classes later on the russian teacher vera volkova was very important for him as for danish ballet in general and when eric brun as guest director trains the dancers of the Royal Ballet, his experiences from Volkova's classes are part of his program. Okay. And back to second position. Two and soft. And fifth. And we conclude with your faces forward.
It is the task of mime to make words superfluous, to make thought visual. You don't just learn steps in order to dance Burnhamville. These ballets are a powerful narrative vehicle for both dance and mimic expression. That is why Hans Brenner makes so much of the psychological explanation of a pivotal scene in the Kermes at Bruges. Uh, me? Here, alone. Then you say yes, yes, no, go. Stop, stop. Go up to him. What do you want with me? I don't know. Yo, 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 yo. Oh. This is for you. Then you take it and look at it, and then you turn away to go again. Take it on. Stop. I, I love you, oh, but, but I, I mustn't listen to that, no, I can't have that, turn around, turn around. This is the first rehearsal for the young couple Meta Ida Kirk and Ib Anderson in Brenner's revival of this Burnhamville work from 1851. For more than 150 years, the steps and gestures in Burnhamville's ballets have been handed down from generation to generation. <laughs> yeah, come. Let's try it again. Me here alone? No, I don't dare. Stop her. Then you go up to him and say, What do you want? I don't know. Yes, the bow. All the way forward, all the way, all the way. I love you.
That's it. And she does like this. She can't resist you. She simply can't. And you say... Then you open your arms and you do like this. Look here. Yes, you don't dare touch him. Because girls in those days didn't do that sort of thing. Then it was the boys who started. Now it's the other way around. I knew that. So, like this. Then you go to the window there and jump up in the window. Go after him. Now stand there looking at him. There. Then you go down to stage center, and while you stand there dreaming of him, the curtain falls. There's something bedroom-like about this sleeve. It should be more floating. She isn't going to lie in bed in the costume. She should be ravishing. It must be lighter and livelier and shorter, so they can really see her lovely arms, etc. Yep. Uh, but this, it looks like she's tucked a hanky in her bosom. <laughs> now, yes, 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 I know, I know you won't forget to do it. We need something which, um, uh, to, to gild her, to make her younger and lovelier than she is. It's no good to put a funeral hat on her. She needs to be light. The hair is all right as it is. But in order to make her lovelier, we need something light. <laughs> we'll take the beginning again. I'll do it with you. Really listen to the music and follow me. Just on one, please, when you're ready. E, to, au. Bunhamville's ballets, the approximately ten we know today, have survived in a few notes and in the keen memory of individual dancers. Hans Brenner is the Royal Ballet's most active memory today. He's 70 years old and danced his first Bunhamville steps in 1917. I do hope you weren't filming when our ingenue of the theatre said damn or something like that. It wasn't done in Fister's day. <laughs> so. Brainer has seen Bonhamville become world renowned in recent years. He himself has contributed to this renown in productions of Burnhamville works in many places all over the world. You start on and. You have to count and. One, two, three, and. E, up, two, up, three, up, four. So then, let's go. E, two, three. Yes, yes, it is very difficult. You're the first one who hasn't cried yet. Everybody who's danced this has cried over these steps. They just couldn't get them into their heads. You just keep smiling and I'll be happy. You just watch me. Two. Three. Stay. Two. Two. Three. Four. Five. What? Oh, oh, Borenvive would turn in his grave if he heard a ballerina call his choreography idiotic. Why, what wouldn't he say? But of course it puts life into him. Come over here and try. La, 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 bum, here. Here, here. E.
Basic preliminaries are over. Oh. Pas de deux is more than an entertaining element in the story. It's like a dialogue, often in the form of a courtship that ends in the blissful union of the two parties. Another week elapses. The girl must get the feeling of her costume. It's indicated with an underskirt. The dancing area is arranged on the stage. It's an altogether new feeling for the dancers to come from the closed-in rehearsal room down to the open stage where the dance is to be placed in relation to the sets and to groups of dancers and extras. The performance begins to take form. So then, that's right. And then you go back to the trap door there. Do you see it? Up to that. Otherwise you get squeezed in, and if you get squeezed in, you wouldn't like that. Remember that. Let's try it once more. For the sake of the terrain. The makeup is on. The premiere is in an hour. The dancers warm up individually according to personal need. Nobody can dance on cold muscles. This is also a period of concentration. It's now that psychic preparation is required. Its purpose is to keep nerves in check without taking the nerve out of the performance.
the steps are gone through. Details get a final polishing. Now I expect everything of you, because I know you. I know you. I know that when the battle is to be fought, you'll be there. That's what's so wonderful. And it is too. A long and intense work process is concluded. The show is ready and must be tested in front of the audience. But the dancers are never finished adjusting and improving what they are to perform on the stage.
the sets are changed. New landscape, new sky. Other moods are lowered down from the loft. Burnhamville has many romantic and colorful stories from faraway lands to tell. From Flanders, from Spain, from Norway, from Russia, and other exotic places. And especially from Italy. Like his good friend, Hans Christian Andersen, Burnhamville loved Italy, and there he obtained themes and dances for many of his ballets. Napoli is the most popular of his Italian works.
and the work goes on. This is the famous part of Der from the Flower Festival at Genzano, which has been run through. To dance Bournemouthville today is not a question of slavish adherence to tradition, but of inspired interpretation. And Kirsten Rallo, who here instructs Linda Hinberg and Arnie Willemsen, is not the custodian of a Bournemouthville museum, but an advisor in the workshop of the dance, where every day the quality and nuance of the venerable steps are scrupulously perfected. The heritage is passed on to a new generation. When you do that long attitude, be sure that the arm doesn't go completely down. Try standing like that. Your whole body must have the same swaying. Your whole body must sway simultaneously and keep it up like that. It's too long. It should be even less. No, you don't try to go down any further. Your body stops there and your hand goes like this. It should sort of flow together. Okay? Shall we go on? <laughs> 